It's been pretty slow here today. My job really picks up when all the customers arrive. Always got a few folks who want to sneak backstage. Sorry, you can't go back there. Or over there, for that matter. Why not? You need security clearance. Can't let just anybody backstage, you know. How do I get security clearance? Take this backstage security pass and get it authorized and signed off in triplicate by the proper authorities. Who are the proper authorities? I'm not sure, but I'll know it when I see it. All I do know is that it has to be proper. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Excuse me, Mr. Sweeney. Hank the security car said I needed an authorized signature in triplicate before he'd let me go backstage. Can you do that? Of course I can. Good to see he's doing his job. Ah, that's my life. Paperwork. Here you go. Your backstage security clearance. Thanks. Here you go, in triplicate. Look at that, BJ Sweeney's signature. Can't get any more proper than that. Go right in anytime you want to. Gee, thanks. Don't tell me Mr. BJ Sweeney sent you to talk us into performing without a safety net. Tell him the flying Polkowskis won't do it. We refuse to fly through the air on the trapeze with the greatest of ease if we don't have a safety net. Won't do it. No way. And that's final. I wouldn't either. That would be dangerous. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. And actually, Mr. Sweeney wanted me to help you. So where is your safety net anyway? That's the problem. Can't find it anywhere. It's been missing since we got here. Maybe I can find it for you before showtime. Now believe it when pigs can fly. We can fly, Paul. Well, sorta of hammy. I hope you don't think it's too bold of me to ask, but do you know a little something about music? Maybe a little bit. Why? See, I'm the circus orchestra, the circus conductor, and the circus accompaniment all rolled into one. And I've got a couple of teensy little problems. My pipes are all mixed up, and it seems like I have some old translation book stuck in them. I figure, if someone can set my pipes right, I can get up enough steam to get that book out. I can help you with that. Oh, that is music to my ears. Now the key here is to arrange my pipes from the lowest note to the highest note. Okay, I'll try it. By the way, since you're being so helpful and all, I should introduce myself. I'm Bet Bandwagon. I'm Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, glad to meet you. Okay, remember, arrange my pipes so they go from the lowest sounding note to the highest sounding note. The green light means that the pipe is in the correct spot. The red light means that the pipe is in the wrong spot. I think that most of the pipes are already in the right spot. That was music to my ears. My goodness, it's the honkish translation book. Well, however did that get caught in my pipes? 
A honkish translation book? What's that? It's something you're going to be needing if you run into Honko the Clown. Not too many of us speak honkish around here, so this book is a must. Here, you take it, Putt Putt, and thanks. You are my musical maestro. Thanks, Bet. This is great. So are you, Putt Putt. So are you. Thank you again, Maestro, for fixing my pipes. You're welcome, Bet. How about a little song? I think this platform goes all the way up to the high wire. I wonder what's up there. Here I go. Hi, I'm Putt Putt. Do you need some help? The name's Eunice, and do I ever! I am having the toughest time trying to balance on this practice wire. Never happened before! I am baffled! I can tell you that! Maybe I can help you find something to balance with, Eunice. That is mighty nice of you! I'd appreciate it. In the meantime, I hope you don't mind if I keep practicing. After all, I've got a show tonight! Hey, Eunice, what's that wrench for? It tightens that loose wire. I've been trying to fix it all morning. But as they say, it takes two to tighten. I think the bolt's a little rusty. Maybe I can figure out how to get over there, and then I can help you tighten it. You're on! where Mr. Sweeney keeps all the tools to fix things for his Big Top Circus. I bet Mr. Sweeney wouldn't mind if I borrowed this saw. It might be good for fixing things around the circus, as long as I'm very careful with it. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Hey, it looks like half of a recipe. I'd better hang on to it. Wow, that trailer must belong to Pectoral the Stra- Look, a juicer. If I put some vegetables in it, I can make a vegetable shake. Say there, catnip. Here's a joke coming at you. Okay, hit me, Rato. <laughs> No, I meant with a joke. Sheesh, you're always clowning around. Hey, it's my job. Catnip, how can you tell that peanuts are fattening? Yeah, oh, I don't know. Uh, how, Ratso? Because you never see a skinny elephant. Oh, you're right. Uh, uh, Ratso, want to hear a joke? It's as good as a pie in the face. Prove it, Catnip. No, I mean prove it by telling a joke. Quit clowning around. But, uh, I am a clown. So, um, uh, where was I? So, Ratso. Yes, Catnip? Why did, uh, our beloved ringmaster, Mr. B.J. Sweeney, put his money in the refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> 